Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the last video that I do in this apartment. So I'm going to have a new setup soon. It might look very similar just because I don't really have a background and I like this thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's a, it's a room divider that I got from Hobby Lobby forever ago. Um, so it's just kind of nice to have a normal background and not just like the back of, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, um, I am gonna be playing with the Raw Beauty Christie um, with Pure Palette again. Um, we're gonna play with the colorful side and um, the look that I'm gonna do is kind of a mix between the tutorial that she did and something and the colors that Robert Walsh did. Obviously, they're two of my favorites right now, so we're just gonna do what they did. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this and um, yeah let's see what we come up with hey guys so sorry this is a day late um just been moving so things have been crazy um but using my urban decay primer potion for my base and then i'm going in with the color my whole heart as kind of just my starting base color um and then i'm going to move to the brighter side of the palette for this look um, so I'm starting on the outer corner with the color Tribute, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Tribute. So it's that purple color and just really um, going in ham with that color and then going to um, fluff it out a bit and blend it out a bit. Now this look is a mix between what um, James Welsh and Christy did. So using a little bit more of the color colors that he used on his crease and then definitely how she did her eyeliner. So um, yeah, so I'll link both of their videos down below so you guys can get an idea of um, what their looks look like and what really inspired me. And then on the inner corner I'm going in with the color um, side effect and that's that really pretty pink color these colors are absolutely gorgeous um, and they blend really really well I was very impressed with how they how they performed so if you guys want to go get this definitely go to Pure's website and check it out I was I was super impressed and the fact that it's double-sided was awesome so now I'm just blending back and forth and I do this until and I kind of add color and blend back and forth until I get an opaqueness in that gradient that I'm looking for because I wanted this to be pretty intense because um, we are going to do sort of a cut crease look all right so now I'm doing the cut crease and um, I didn't do the trick because I'm doing kind of a whole cut crease and then shifting it out um, and kind of winging it out so using a uh, the Tarte Shape Tape for my base and then just kind of stippling it on where I want it to get it as opaque as I can. And then a trick that I was watching Christy do is that she kind of um, <laughs> she kind of pats it out so it, it doesn't get too tacky and then you can see I kind of messed up a little bit but you can always clean that up and I, I very much suggest having clean brushes on hand to clean up any mess ups but it's just makeup if you mess up you mess up but using that stippling motion um, instead of like a swiping motion is a really big thing when you're putting on a base for a cut crease um, you know you have a lot more control that way and I'm using a really really small flat head brush so here what I'm doing is I'm bringing it out so I can have a wing and have space in between the colors and then my um, my eyeliner. So um, I really wanted to play with kind of, what's the word, um, empty space um, or blank space um, in my eye look. Um, I haven't done it in a very, very long time and I just because I'm not that great at it. Um, sometimes I come off looking a little bit too much like Mimi or um, or a little bit too much like a drag queen, which is fine. I have nothing against drag queens, but that's just not the look that I t generally go for. So it kind of looks like a half-assed drag queen, which is not okay. Because <laughs> um, if you're going to do it, you might as well just 
freaking do it, right? So um, I'm just stippling on and getting it to the opaqueness that I want and making sure that I'm bringing that out far enough so I feel comfortable with where I can put my wing liner. So yeah, that's what that is. And really just packing on that color until I get the opaqueness. So anyway, so I'm in my new apartment. It's pretty exciting. Um, we still have boxes everywhere, but I think we kind of have the setup of how we want the place to look. So we'll be having a party here soon, I'm sure. Housewarming party. Um, now I'm just going in and cleaning up a little bit of that edge. Um, the beautiful thing about this is that no one's really going to see it unless, like, they're right up on you. And here's the thing. And right now I'm just setting it with um, that um, white shade in the palette called Lumos. So I'm just setting it so I have white, um, a base that's set too. So, um, but it's, it's unless you're doing like an Instagram photo, and here's the thing, all those Instagram photos are Photoshopped and cleaned up. And I don't really wanna do that. So, you know, I'm, I'm more here to show you guys what you guys can do in real life, really. I'm just using some micellar water here to clean up the edges. I've tried to really get away from makeup wipes. Um, I might use up the rest that I have, but um, I just wanna use them up so I can, you know, continue with the micellar water. Cause let me tell you, I've fallen in love with the micellar water to clean up my makeup and even take my makeup off. Even like eye remover, oh, it's so good you guys. And I use the Garnier and I'll link everything down below. Um, using my e.l.f concealer um, in the very very dark shade for my contour um, and using those eco tool brushes I really do like these so just going in with that cream contour just so I can get better at cream contour oh and the fact that all of my other stuff is packed away so <laughs> um, yeah so here's kind of a uh, this technique and uh, a lot of people do the technique of <clears throat> excuse me of doing their concealer and um, contour underneath. And the beautiful thing about that is then you don't have to be nearly as precise because then you're just gonna go over it anyways. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then, so th the whole thing is to put shadow where you want shadow um, and light where you want to bring out your face just to give your face some more dimension and sculpt it. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We need a smaller brush for this. <laughs> Um, anyways, so yeah, we're in our new apartment, we'll probably have a housewarming party soon. Well, maybe not soon, but you know, in the near future, whatever. Um, I, I do not have a makeup space set up yet, so that's, you know, fun. All right, now I'm going in, I'm trying this brand new foundation from Flesh. Um, I'm watching Boondock Saints while I'm doing this or kind of listening to it. So if you see me randomly word things... I'm probably quoting the movie. That's just what I do. So, um, so yeah. <clears throat> so putting on some foundation. I, I'm trying to get better at this technique or anything with cream contour and stuff. I just, it's not my cup of tea. I'm, I just don't feel that good at it. Um, or maybe I just, I'm lazy because it takes so much more blending than using like powder. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I think that's got to be it. Is it. I'm just lazy. I haven't learned well enough. And I just... <laughs> I want something easy and, and powder, powder foundation or powder contour and, and all that. It's just so much easier. And I have the, the perfect shade for that with the Hoola bronzer. I just... But I want to get better at things, you know. Get it together, Robinson. Seriously. <laughs> So just bouncing that around, the, the eco, or not the eco tools, the um, real technique sponge is just phenomenal, guys. See, I'm laughing at this movie. I love Boondock Saints. I know a lot of people maybe are sensitive to it, but I freaking love it, so I don't care. <laughs> I love that movie. I could quote the whole thing. Just like Remember the Titans, I could quote that whole movie, too. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Thank you, Carrie, for uh, <laughs> introducing me to that. <laughs> so good. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with my Cody Airspun powder. So 
so just bear with me as I get that going. And just a light dusting. I have dry skin, so I don't like to over powder. All right, so now I'm going back to my Stila, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my Ciate London Fierce Flix Eyeliner. And I'm dragging all the way across my eyelid. And then I'm going to <clears throat> kind of try and match it up with the angle of where the cut crease swoops up and then really make a, a diagonal line and make it a very thick, dramatic black line. And then just fill it in from there. So very much going for that cat eye look today. So I'm just gonna fill that in. And you have, I mean, this takes a lot of practice, but there's tons of YouTube tutorials kind of showing you how to do it. Um, and Raw Beauty Christie, she does a great job of kind of teaching um, how to do things. So I really do suggest you guys go check her out. But anyways, just I really wanted a thick line for this because I'm going to go over with another color and I wanted that color to show up. So, um, so now I am going in with the color Hurtful, which is the blue color, and just packing that on over the top. Um, I know it's not going to show up a whole hell of a lot, but it kind of gives you that navy blue look. And I love how it looks with the purple and the pink. Um, so yeah, this is this was really fun, and this is what Raw, this is what Christy did on hers. So I took this from Christy of doing the blue over the black, and I love how it looked. So. Um, had to recreate it. I absolutely love it. And then I got a little bit on my face, so that's fun. Um, now I'm just going in with an eyeliner on my waterline um, using the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. Again, I'll put everything down below. Um, and just putting that in my waterline to connect. And then for my mascara, per usual, I am going to use my Monsieur Big. Um, from Lancome, just because I, I absolutely love this mascara. It is my go-to all of the time. <laughs> As you can tell, I really love this movie. <laughs> and does anybody else, like, everyone makes a face when they do mascara, right? Like, that's, that's a thing? Okay, good. Um, for my blush, I am using my Shame on You by Sephora. Um, I don't know if the, it's the same formula that I use. Mine's really, really old, but I love it. It's it's a perfect shade for me, especially when I'm just kind of just trying to be on the go and not experiment. I know this shade looks good on me, so it's perfect. And then I'm using a Lorac bronzer just to give myself a little bit of um, color back into my skin. And this has a little bit of a shimmer in it, and I'm gonna try and find it. I couldn't find it before I started the the voiceover, but I'm going to try again and see if I can find the actual um, color and the actual product that I'm using. So, But it's a Lorac, Lorac bronzer. And then I just realized that my neck was not as uh, blended as I wanted, so I went in with a big fluffy brush. And then for my highlight, I am dipping in to the color uh, Cafe Disco in the Raw Beauty Christie with a fan brush just because they're pretty glittery so um, I didn't want it to have a huge amount of payoff and then using my Kula setting spray spraying all over my face um, and I forgot to film an outro so this is the final look <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this I really really like this so you get to see my vanity shots and how I get some of my um, some of my thumbnails so you're welcome this is what you get to see for my outro um <laughs> i look so ridiculous it's fine it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoyed this and um uh hopefully i'll see you in my next video i don't know hopefully i'll have a new setup here in the new apartment if not we're gonna be on the floor so like subscribe share to the world drive safe and make good choices guys <laughs> i'll see you later